大家好啊，歡迎收睇有客到啊！咁今日我哋就好榮幸啊，邀請到香港冠軍騎師莫雷拉嘅同我哋接受訪問啦。Hello John， Hi， How are you？ 咁就我哋而家就想了解一下莫雷拉一啲嘅日常生活啊，點滴啦，分享下少少佢自己個人嘅背景啦，喺香港啦，或者以前喺其他地方拆騎嘅一啲嘅心路歷程嘅。誒、uh, ，John，、uh, I was wondering that do you have a driving license in Hong Kong？ Of course I do. I drive around so. I need to have it. Without it, you can't drive. 咁啊，莫雷拉就話佢不嬲都有車牌喺香港嘅，咁就方便佢出入啦。咁所以就都會考翻個車牌嘅。So would you often take public transport also? Yeah, I often take. Um, I don't mind. In particular, MTR, which is pretty helpful, is pretty straightforward. Uh huh. Honestly, I haven't took a bus yet, but I I don't think I would mind to take. I just didn't come to a situation where I need it, but. MTR, I've been to the trains and it's it's been pretty good. So sometimes our audience or our, our viewers will see you in the MTR. Sometimes they do see me and they recognize, but everyone else here in Hong Kong has been very respectful. Ah, uh, so so you also have a autobus car? Of course I do. <laughs> autobus car to be able to travel around. But if you take uh, public transport, will those fans come to you and ask for a signature or photos? Yeah. Sometimes they do, but um, as I said, they are all very respectful. So、mm. yeah, I'm okay with that. 咁啊，雷神咧，佢就話咧，佢有時搭誒地鐵咧都會搭嘅，咁亦都會有時見到啲誒好熱情嘅馬迷啦，咁就問佢嘅索求簽名啊或者合照嘅，咁雷神當然就好友善啦，亦都係會同佢即係接受佢哋嘅請求嘅，都唔會話措手爭嘅。誒 ，Do you know you have a nickname called 雷神 ？Of course, I do. Yeah, everyone else call me 雷神 now. Do Do you know the literal meaning of the name? Ah.、Uh, Not really. It means God of Thunder. Yeah, I can't think about it, but I still don't understand why they call me God of Thunder. Yeah, because you 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 can't relate with your real name. Yeah, because <laughs>、oh. you go Mo Lei Lai, so the Lei they take the 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 middle one, the letter Lei, so Lei San. Lei means what? Lei means、uh, Thunder. Thunder. Okay. Yeah. So it's your trans、uh, Chinese name. So they take this name as Lei San. Okay. Do、so、you think they... this name suits you? Uh. <laughs> Suits me in a way of、uh, promoting wise, because if they give me a positive nickname,、mm -hmm. people keep on repeating that.、Uh -huh. Some kids also start、really? having that that nickname in their mind, so it's、mm -hmm. pretty good. I, I see it as a good thing, as a positive thing. Because recently,、uh, the, the Hong Kong Jockey Club created some、um, some products of your your image. It's the God of Thunder. Yeah, it's you、uh, picking the. Hammer and the soft thunders after you. Yeah, that's very nice. I think,、uh, as I said, it's a very nice way to promote horse racing in,、mm -hmm. in a positive way. 嗯，咁啊，雷神咧，佢都話佢當然知道佢有個雷神呢個稱號啦，但係佢就唔係好明白啊，點解大家會叫佢做雷神？咁都係因為佢個中文名咧，就攞咗中間個雷字咧，咁就做佢呢個綽號啦。咁佢都話有啲小朋友咧，其實都好中意，即係咁樣叫佢嘅，咁令佢覺得啊，其實如果用呢個方法去推廣賽馬咧，佢都覺得係一個好好嘅事嚟。咁佢都好誒接受呢個咁正面嘅稱號嘅。So,、uh, what do you usually do in your spare time? Will you、uh, hang out with your families or any fun、uh, function you would like to do?、Um, there is a lot of things that I do. My my life is full on. <laughs>、um, obviously, we have to do track work every day, early、uh -huh. in the morning, very early, and we also have two days in a week that we have to spend basically all day working, and those five days, I would say. We have the afternoons free,、uh -huh. but even when I say afternoons free, I would have to do my homework、uh -huh. either before or after I do whatever what I want during those five days, which is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday.、Uh -huh. What I usually do is when I go out with my family, either I go to the cinema or we get we get together with some friends that we have here in Hong Kong. There is a very big、uh, Brazilian community here,、uh -huh. and We got a lot of friends that is from Brazil here in the same situation as a foreigner, as as you call us, as a quilo, <laughs> and I don't mind that. And、uh, yeah, obviously I do also some a little bit of sport. I'm a big fan of、uh, football. football. Yeah, and we all、um, know that. <laughs> I quite often do some sport, do some exercise myself, play with my kids. Sometimes I take my son to his own sport. He does riding less and also football,、uh -huh. and that's it. So,、uh, any way to relieve your pressure? Because you know, this、uh, uh, being a jockey, so 
is a career that is very high pressure. What's your way to relieve your pressure? First thing that I do is not to read any news <laughs> about horse racing. Okay. Oh, everything that I, I read is uh, it's, I try to target those positive things because mm. um, when you let the media get on your mind, sometimes they can drive you crazy. And I <laughs> I find my my way to block that thing or not reading the too much the news. Um, but obviously, what is related to horse racing, what's coming up, and what is related to to my career, obviously, I'm trying to be aware of. Just try not to be sticking with those people that write bad things about mm -hmm. horse racing. Um, yeah, but I, to release my, my pressure, I just try to do my activities outside. Like, as I said, I love, I love I like soccer very much. I often mm -hmm. go to football stadiums and I get together with my friends and family. So those things get myself, my mind off mm -hmm. horse racing for a bit. That's enough for me to, to release the pressure. And at the end of the day, the pressure that you're talking about, mm -hmm. it's a kind of a motivation for me. I, uh, I use it as, a, okay, if they criticize me for some reason, obviously there is reason behind it. I try to work around it to turn it to be as good as it used to be or even better. 他們說他們平時都會跟他的朋友一起去踢球 so uh, you, you mentioned that you have many uh, Brazilian friend, friends in Hong Kong. Uh, most of them are footballers, is that correct? Uh, I wouldn't say most of them, but there is a lot of them that play mm. football professionally here. And there is a lot of nice people that is involved into this different sport. And it's very nice to get together with them because they, they can provide me different information, different stories. Um, they entertain my mind and my, myself with different different things, which is, it's pretty good, as you asked me before. Uh, that's a very good way to get my, my mind off horse racing for a bit, to release the pressure that I, I've been input in the last 15, 17 years of my life, because I've, that's how long I've been involved in horse racing. So if I said uh, they helped you a lot when you come, uh, come to Hong Kong, is that, is that true? I, definitely they helped me out, and uh, I presume friendship is always a positive thing. You are able to make friends through friends who wants nothing from you but just your friendship. I think that's a good thing. So, what, what was the greatest challenge or difficulties when you just came to Hong Kong a few years ago? Uh, the first, the main one was to adapt to horse racing here, which is very different. As you would probably know, I got suspended quite often in my very first season. That cost me the Premiership. But um, yeah, we definitely learned from that. We turned it around. Following a couple of seasons, I was able to get less suspensions, and that pays off in a very positive way. So, yeah, that's the main challenge that I had to face. And obviously, here in Hong Kong, we race clockwise, which is extremely different, extremely different than what it is back in Singapore, where I came mm -hmm. from, and in Brazil, which they race anti-clockwise. Yeah. And then I thought I wasn't going to be able to make make it happen, but fortunately, I was giving good enough opportunities to get myself adapted and get going well. Because you're good. <laughs> because I've been lucky enough to get on top of good, good enough horses. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 即是逆時針變成順時針跑法的一個場地,他都覺得需要啲時間去適應,但結果呢,佢都克服到呢樣困難嘅,咁佢都提到啊,佢好多巴西籍嘅朋友啊,喺香港都幫助佢好多,就令
my greatest colleague at, at, at the horse racing. 嗯，咁啊，李純都提多田泰安啊，就係佢嘅好好嘅朋友啦。雖然唔佢哋唔係話好誒 close 嘅朋友，但係啊，佢哋喺誒競賽場上啊，大家都誒好尊重對方啦。好多時候咧，亦都會俾李純一啲嘅誒意見啦，大家都會互相誒競爭，亦都會同時一齊進步嘅。